everyone. So today what I want to touch on is the idea that you need to know the high court cases that are popping up throughout the study design. Particularly what I want to focus on today is the high court case Roach. So this was in relation to section 7 and 24 of the Constitution and it is a specific one that the study design requires you to know. So in this case, in 2006, the Commonwealth attempted to pass legislation banning all prisoners from voting in federal elections. So previously, prior to this legislation, only prisoners who were serving sentences of three or more years were ineligible to vote. This amendment attempted to ban all prisoners from voting, regardless of how long your sentence was for. Roach, who was a prisoner at the time, took the case all the way to the High Court, arguing that it went against Section 7 and 24 of the Constitution, which give us the right to elect people into the House of Representatives and the Senate. The High Court decided that she was right, that it went against Section 7 and 24, and they struck down the legislation as invalid. Why this is important is because it was the first time that the High Court decided that the Constitution reflected an inherent right to vote. The important thing to remember about the Roach case that students often trip up on is that only the legislation which attempted to ban all prisoners was found to be invalid. So to this day, prisoners who are serving three or more years are still ineligible to vote because the High Court decided that that was a significant enough reason, once you had been removed from society for that long, to take away your right to vote. But they did say that any legislation that attempted to change who could vote and who couldn't would need a similarly substantial reason to remove this right. So Roach is just one of two or three High Court cases that you need to know. Why I wanted to bring it up in a video is to make sure that you understand that it's not just the facts that you need, it's the High Court decision and the importance of that that you do need to be able to discuss. So for example, in this case, the Roach case is important because it's the High Court showing us that the Constitution does reflect a right to vote. Thanks guys.